everybody, Clint Seely here. Um, today I, I want to just um, record a little tip of a problem one of the members of the uh, Bernina Digi Designer Plus Digitizing Divas, that, that is a mouthful sometimes, especially early in the morning when I haven't had enough coffee. Um, as we scroll down here, a member of the group posted a good question, uh, Miss Cindy. She was having a problem digitizing uh, this little graphic here. And we can see what she's done uh, is she did a quick trace and then converted to embroidery. And she was left with um, some stuff here that just does not look right. You can see uh, the text almost all digitized. The text digitized um, mostly as a fill stitch. And then these little holes are popping up here like the little hole that should be in the A, the E, and then the at symbol. So there was, it just didn't show up right. This was the effect that she was left with. And so she was a little bit puzzled and left the question um, and asked maybe if I could uh, help point that out. She's gotten a lot of good suggestions, but I'm gonna just quickly show you the way that I would do it for this particular um, a piece of art. So I'll get right to it. Let's bring up the digitizing software. Now what you would do um, for a graphic like this, it was saved as a JPEG. And this is, even though this is text, the program is going to treat this text as a graphic. It doesn't have any idea that it's text. So you're bringing it in like any other graphic. What you need to realize is when we do the quick trace, which I'll do now, when we do the quick trace, it's going to leave you with 12 objects over here. First thing that I'm going to do after I do the quick trace, I'm going to go ahead and delete away the image. And then I'm going to select that group of objects and I'm going to ungroup them. What you want to do, what you see here is you see a bunch of pink objects and white objects. These white objects at the bottom, okay, those are the background, which is just kind of blending into the page background because they're both white. So you don't, it's kind of like an out of sight. Uh, out of mind thing so it's always when you digitize something like this one thing that I like to do is I like to turn these white parts like a yellow and I'm gonna turn them all yellow <laughs> it's my daughter in the background hold on just a second let me check with her okay she's good but she's uh, having a lot of fun right now so we're just gonna have to hear her in the background okay so I like to turn all of those white parts just a different color a color that's going to be um, not white and for me this always aids in that process then I'm gonna delete away the stuff you don't need okay so this part of the graphic boom don't need that don't need that and here what we're left with okay is the so the at so Cali hair but we still have these objects that came in that were digitized in now if I was to remove that object you would see that the program has just digitized this A as a solid circle and then put that white circle on top of it. So if we stop here and convert everything to embroidery that's how it's going to digitize. Let me show you. It's gonna leave you with an effect uh, kinda like this which is what Miss Cindy was experiencing. What we need to do in the art canvas before we digitize is we need to punch all of those holes out of the pink so let me go back and I'm gonna show you if you select I'll zoom in here and show you a before and an after if I select this this object here that yellow one you can see this is a solid object what I need to do is I need to select both of them so I'll select my yellow I'll hold the shift key while selecting the pink and you can see in the object manager now over here two items are selected two items that overlapped and when that happens you also get up here you get some trimming and shaping tools that are now available to you but it has you have to have two objects selected not just one or else you don't even see these trimming tools now there's a couple ways that you can do this we could do for this particular one back minus front or we could do a simplify and then delete the object away. But I'll do um, a back minus front. Let me show you. 
If I hover over this, see it tells you what it is. Remove the front object from the back object. So let me left click that and boom. Now you can see that this is truly the background so it's showing through. That hole has been punched out. So I'll do the same thing for this dude. Back minus front and the object disappears. Shift back minus front and I'll just do this to each individual one. And then now here's what we're left with. We're left with only pink objects and that is those are truly holes now that will digitize that way. So now I'll select everything and left click to convert and we should have a much better cleaner effect. Now you can see this is not perfect yet. That's where you'll have to continue to keep digitizing this. Like it's text, you're gonna have to change some of these stitch directions, maybe the density. Don't forget to uh, do your fabric adjustment and your underlays, okay, because you're still digitizing. But this will definitely get you a jump start and pointed in the correct uh, direction. I hope this helps. This is Clint Seely. Thank you for watching.